Hi, I'm Caitlin Ryan with Cognizant. Welcome to our Healthcare Interoperability Ask the Expert video series. Today, we'll be answering a few foundational questions about the ONC and CMS interoperability rules. The first question is for Gary Meyer, our lead interoperability consultant. Gary, what is the interoperability compliance deadline? In March 2020, CMS and ONC announced their interoperability and patient access final rules. Of greatest interest to payers was the dates for three specific things, the patient access API, the provider directory API, and payer-to-payer -payer data exchange. The two APIs were given a deadline of January 1st, 2021, while payer-to-payer -payer data exchange was given a deadline the next year on January 1st, 2022. Later, in response to the pressures that COVID-19 put on the U.S. healthcare system, CMS announced a sort of a delay. It's important to understand with nuance what they did. While the government could have delayed the deadline, they didn't. That's not quite what they did. Instead, they are applying a policy of enforcement discretion for the first deadline, that is, for the patient access API and provider directory API. The applicable date for these API milestones remains at January 1st, 2021. The deferred enforcement date is six months later on July 1st. Now, depending upon unique business factors, many clients are pressing into the January 1st deadline while others are targeting July 1st. It's a key topic for the interoperability leadership team to discuss with the legal team and others in the organization in light of the contracts for the affected lines of business. In summary, the regulatory dates for the patient access API and provider directory API are 1121, with deferred enforcement date of 7121. The date for payer to payer data exchange is 1 1 Thanks, Gary. Jay Sultan, our VP of Healthcare Strategy, will be answering our next question. Jay, what are the penalties for non compliance? The rule itself doesn't specify penalties. Now, there is a penalty specified in the law, the 21st Century Cures Act, called information blocking. It's a million dollar fine every time the organization doesn't provide the data the way they're supposed to have. Uh, and, and that million dollar fine happens basically every time the user is trying to click to get the data off the, the application. Now, we're unclear whether that can apply to health plans. We're clear it can apply to hospitals, EMRs, HIEs. The language in the rule is ambiguous about health plans. But we warn health plans that you ought to be prepared that that rule might get applied and make sure that you're not having any problems. So if that's not the penalty, what is? Well, it's all the regular things CMS does to enforce. Uh, it's, it's barring people from doing Medicare Advantage enrollments. It's uh, decertifying medi managed Medicaid plans. It's uh, penalties on things like uh, HCCs and HEDIS and STARS and that kind of thing. So we, uh, CMS has said they're going to be very aggressive in enforcing this rule and we encourage plans to be careful. We also tell you we expect to see more guidance about this come out between now and the end of the year. Thanks, Jay, and thank you for joining us. Visit Cognizant.com to learn more about our interoperability solutions and look for additional Ask the Expert videos coming soon.